as a fully restored mixed use building that breathes new life into the historic Tampa Heights neighborhood. Armature Works is the it spot in Tampa these days and truly one of my favorite spots And Armature Works is Steelbox. So I am so excited to welcome Nathan Harden and Tom Allen to share with you more on their exciting happenings. Talk a little cuisine, a little fun. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, excited to be here. So I'm completely honest when I say your restaurant right now is one of my go-tos. We absolutely had a fabulous experience there and the, the food was great. And I can tell already talking with you, you've got a lot of passion of what this For menu sure. brings. Absolutely. Kind of give people an introduction if they haven't been able to visit you yet. Yeah, so, um, Today what we'll kind of talk about is more of our lunch menu, but as a whole, Steelbach is definitely going to be kind of a, a steakhouse with a lot of kind of modern influence, a little bit of southern in there as well. We don't want to kind of pigeonhole ourselves as southern, but we do have a lot of uh, kind of southern influence as well as some other worldly influence, which you'll see here in some of our salads and some of the steak sandwiches as well. And you were talking about different influences. One of the influence, just the vibe when you walk into Armature Works, especially Steelbach. Talk about what people can experience because you really do feel that you're like transported back in time in oh, a way yeah. with a modern twist, right? With the character of an old building, you, you cannot replicate that with new structure. And you feel that the moment you walk in and with the design of it, you feel that with our tables chairs, the, the whole setting works really well. So we didn't have to work too hard to make <laughs> it feel great. Because you feel it the moment you come in, especially with our wine cellar, a converted bank, a converted vault, mm -hmm. which still works. The vault, uh, the lock is over 100 years old and still works. Oh, wow. Uh, and we've converted that into a wine cellar with a 200 bottle wine. List. So it's, been, it's done really well. So you feel that the moment you come in, it's nice intimate setting, but lively uh, because of the buzz that you feel because the restaurant isn't overly oversized. Mm -hmm. So it feels mm -hmm. great. It, it really, it does. And of course, you know, Armature Works, we were talking really so many people flocking to that right now. Definitely a destination. I always think of Armature Works like on the weekend afternoons or I think in the evenings. But you're saying, no, 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 we got to come check out this lunch menu that Steelbach is rolling out. Talk a little bit about that and why you guys are so excited about it. Definitely. So the lunch menu, we're actually coming out towards the end of August, uh, so pretty soon. Um, we're going to have quite a few different items. I think a lot of it's going to be very nostalgic for myself and the rest of our chefs, which we're very excited about, which poses a little bit of a challenge for us as well. With nostalgia comes a little bit of storytelling. Um, oh. and, and lunch, being that you do have an abbreviated time frame mm -hmm. for, for dining, it, like I said, it poses a little bit of a challenge for us, but I think we're kind of living up to it. And you'll see a lot of the plates that have a lot of different characteristics to it, textures, flavors, um, colors, uh, so we've kind of got a lot going on within one plate, but it really helps us out. Well, and I'm thinking lunch, I see technically salad, maybe some kind of sandwich Absolutely, going on here. Yeah. What, what are we doing here? So this first one's going to be our Thai papaya salad. Uh, while that steak is cooking, we're going to do um, green papaya tossed into that. We're going to do some fresh herbs, some mint, some cilantro, um, some Thai basil, a little bit of chopped peanuts on the top. We're going to hit it with some um, just some really thin sliced Fresno peppers. I really love a lot of heat personally, so don't be upset if I throw a few too many on there. Oh, well, I was going to say, and I love how you, you can just tell you are really excited about this dish, and you said you've been working on it for many years, right? Exactly. So down in Miami, whenever we were down there, one of our sister concepts um, was actually a Thai spot. So I got to learn quite a bit about Thai food, especially Southern Thai. And this is definitely one of those uh, favorite items for me. Um, so we're going to throw a little bit of uh, tomatoes on there, some green beans. It's really bright, colorful. It's a really texturally sound dish. Um, and then we're going to throw some fresh herbs. Again, just some fresh cilantro to kind of cover. I am a huge fan of cilantro, fresh herbs. To me, they kind of make and break a dish. Um, and then after that, we're going to hit it with some more peanuts again for some more texture, a little bit of salt. And then that last thing and, that we're And you pour. touched on too the noodles. Green papaya, right? That exactly. was the base. Which by the way, I feel better about myself because Carly, who we all know, knows her produce. She even had to ask what that yeah, was. Yeah, so yeah. I feel better about myself not knowing what it is, because this is all new to me. Absolutely. And while you're doing that, you kind of touched on a little bit your beef. That is something that Steelbach is really making headlines for. Well, we have a wonderful beef program working with the Double C Bar Ranch out in Keenansville. Developed the program of buying our own cows. And there's a lot that goes into that because when you buy a cow, what do you do with the rest of it? And trying to figure that out. But the grass-fed program has been fantastic. So grass-fed isn't easy to do in Florida. 
they do a great job of it. We have this Pasture Plus program where the last three months we focus on a different type of diet of citrus pulp and wheat middling so you still get the benefit of the grass fed and then still get that flavor which what everyone wants in their steak and you can match that up to any of these steakhouses that have been anywhere around the country and I think you'll feel really good about that. And you know what we've got about 30 seconds left here so you got we're into crunch time we of are, putting the dish together but it looks like we're there. And again, just hearing you talk about the beef, hearing you talk about the different flavors and textures, things that you can get on the menu, it really is a wide variety. And if people haven't come out to visit you yet, this is the perfect time to do so. Again, Absolutely. Armature Works, such a fun place, but then Steelbach just really is the icing on the cake. There's the information on your screen. Be sure to go say hello. Gentlemen, thank you so much Absolutely. for coming in today. Thank you. We really appreciate, appreciate it. And cheers to Steelbach and Armature Works. Appreciate Thanks it. Again. See you soon. Thank you.